today's video i am going to give a solution for the most important problem from complex integration and now i am going to evaluate integral z is equal to 0 to z is equal to 1 plus i x square plus 2xy plus i times of y square minus x of dz along y is equal to x square so here is the solution so what is the integral given z is equal to 0 to z is equal to 1 plus i so this is x square plus 2xy plus i times of this is y square minus x of dz. As you know what is z? So z is nothing but x plus iy. So z is equal to x plus iy and dz will be dx plus i into this is dy. And now see here what is given along y is equal to x square. So here y is equal to x square dy is equal to 2x into dx. dy is equal to 2x. So here our limits are z 0 comma 0 and here 1 comma 1. x limits are from 0 to 1, y limits are from 0 to 1. So this is x square plus 2x and now what is y so y i'll show you so y is equal to x square so in place of y i am writing x square plus i times of again y square so y is x square y square will be x power 4 minus x minus x of this is nothing but dx plus i times of this is dy dz is equal to dx plus i times of dy and dy is nothing but 2x into dx now i am going to substitute that one so this is 0 comma 0 to 1 comma 1 so this is x square plus 2x cube plus i into x power 4 minus i into x so this is dx plus i into in place of dy i am writing this is 2x into dx and now see here so all i have changed in terms of x that is x limits are from 0 to 1 so this is x square plus 2x cube plus i times of x power 4 minus i into x and here if i take this dx common this will be 1 plus 2xi into dx now i am going to multiply this one so if i multiply so this is 0 to 1 if i multiply with 1 this will be x square plus 2x cube plus i times of x power 4 minus i into x and again if i multiply this will be 2x cube i and this is 4 x power 4 into i and this is i square minus this is 2 into x power 5 i square this is minus 1 plus this value is 2x square into dx 2x square into dx now see here these are all the imaginary terms and the rest are the real terms these are the real terms now if i take all the real terms here that is 0 to 1 so this is nothing but x square so this is x square and this is 2x square so x square plus 2x square is nothing but 3x square so this is 3x square plus 2x cube and the next one here is minus 2x power 5 so this is minus 2x power 5 so this is 3x square plus 2x cube minus 2x power 5 and if i take i common here from these then what happens here so these are like terms see here so this one so this is x power 4 x power 4 i x power 4 i x power 4 so if i take i common this will be 5 x power 4 and this is 2 x cube so this is 2 x cube minus x of dx of dx so now if i integrate with respect to x see here if i integrate with respect to x this will be 3x cube by 3 plus 2x power 4 by 4 minus 2x power 6 by 6 plus i times of this is 5x power 5 by 5 plus 2 into this is x power 4 by 4 minus this is x square by 2 between the limits this is 0 to 1 and this is also 
from 0 to 1. So, these limits are from 0 to 1. Now, I can cancel these. So, if I cancel in two tables, so this is 3. So, this goes in 1. So, this is 2. And what remains here? So, this will be 1 times of x cube. So, the value here is, this value is x cube plus x bar 4 by 2 minus x bar 6 by 3 plus i times of, this is x bar 5 by 5 plus x bar 4 by 2 minus x square by 2 between, between the limits. This is 0 to 1 and this is 0 to 1. And see, so if I substitute, this will be 1 plus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3 plus i times of this is 1 plus half minus half. Uh, if I cancel this one, so this is nothing but if I take 6 as LCM, so 3 minus 2 plus i times of 1, i into 1. So this is nothing but 1 plus 1 by 6 plus 1. So, this value, if I take 6 common, this will be 6 plus 1 plus i and the value here is 7 by 6 plus i and this is the final result and this is the final answer, solution. See, let me explain you. So, as you know that z is equal to x plus i y, dz will be dx plus i into dy. Now, we have to evaluate this integral along the curve y is equal to x square. Here, y is given as x square and dy will be 2x, see y is equal to x square. So, if y is equal to x square, then dy will be 2x into dx. Now, it's clear. So, in place of y, I wrote x square. In place of y, I wrote x square and again y square as x power 4 and in place of dy as 2x into dx and after multiplying and simplifying and uh, after integrating and substituting the limits, I got the final answer as a 7 by 6 plus i. So, this is how we have to solve. If you don't understand, please go through this video for one more time. Slowly uh, keep the steps and definitely you will see the answer. And if you really like, you know what to do, please subscribe to this channel, pass it on to your friends and check the playlist. Thank you so much.